Hey Tesla fans, Michael here with Evolution Tesla, where I cover the latest features, software, and self-driving tech from Tesla. Earlier this year, Tesla started retrofitting older model Teslas with the latest full self-driving autopilot computer. The new computer was developed by Tesla in-house, and it boasts an incredible 21 times performance increase in image processing, from 110 frames per second to a whopping 2300 frames per second, with a neural network capable of 36 trillion operations per second all using only 25% more power than the old system and barely more than a common household light bulb. The current software barely scratches the surface of the new chip's capabilities, but it does offer a tantalizing glimpse at what the full self-driving system will be capable of once we see the major rewrite to the autopilot software expected later this year. I just got my upgraded computer installed, so let's hop in the car and see what it's capable of, starting with some lane-keeping tests on the Snake and on the Gauntlet. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're just heading out to the gauntlet to test out the performance of the full self-driving computer to see if there's any difference in the lane keeping there. It's been a, almost a year and a half since we've uh, given it a try. Um, I haven't really seen a huge difference in autopilot performance just in my you know own testing but we'll give this a try see if there's any difference with the new hardware. Put it into autopilot here. Obviously the big difference now is we get enhanced visualization like those cones back there but we'll see how the lane keeping works in this uh, section of the road here oh I'm getting a warning here speed reduction well, my hands are just on the wheel for safety not really controlling anything it's going pretty good speed here oh, it's slowing down quite a bit for this turn oh, it's really putting on the brakes it's really timid here I don't know what's going on with that maybe that car was throwing it off really slow through this turn it used to go quite a bit faster actually that's a, quite a downgrade from before, actually. Uh, a little close to that line, but I think we're still staying in there. Still pretty slow through here. Pretty sure it was faster through that section with the previous hardware and software versions. A bit of a blind turn on the hill here. I would prefer to be a little further to the right there with that oncoming car, but not too bad. A little bit of an S turn here with the hill. And it, it felt pretty controlled except for that one part where it really slowed down and took those uh, early turns quite slowly. Let's try the opposite direction and see if it still has that issue crossing the line. Engage autopilot here. And it usually does pretty well in this direction except for right at the end. Well, it's taking this pretty quickly here. It's slowing down on its own. No, I had to take over. It was uh, way too close to the line for my liking. Not too impressed with that. Let's try it again here. I don't, I don't know if it noticed those cones in the bush there. I'll have to check the footage on that. Okay, so it's slowing down quite a bit, 43, 
and the 30s now pretty slow but nicely in the li lanes in the lines here <laughs> but I'm at a grandma crawl here I'm gonna get lapped by a old lady in a walker at this speed yeah pretty slow here let's see how it fares on this last turn it always used to mess up here go over the line and then be ready to take over it's picking up some speed and yeah it's over the line again so yeah no improvement actually a downgrade in performance on the gauntlet with the huge speed reduction I don't know why it's so timid there, but I guess we're going to have to wait for the uh, the new uh, rewrite of the software coming later this year to see any real improvement, I guess. Let's see if it picks up this jogger here. Oh yeah, there he goes, walking away there on the screen. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to give the Snake a try with the new FSD computer and with the new software 2020.28.6. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, it's locked in. I'm ready to take over though because after that last uh, stretch of road, I don't know if I have much confidence that it can do the Snake. Slowing down a bit here, but not too bad. That's uh, way wide. I would much prefer to be to the right here. Whoa, it's like <laughs> way in the left lane. No, no, that's no good. But it's still going. I'm going to see how far it can get. Yeah, I don't know if I want to risk it with this big truck here. I'm taking over. I think it's going to let me re-engage here. Okay, heading downhill on the snake. Let's see if we can engage autopilot in this little line section here. And it's going a little faster than I'd like over this blind hill here. gonna fall oh yeah a little fast no <laughs> it's going in the left lane all right so still too much of a challenge for the current system but I figured it'd take a while before we get there let's see how it handles on a bit of country roads here this part's fairly straightforward but there's a nice bit of a curvy spot up ahead going downhill whoa phantom braking there for no apparent reason hopefully it does a little better on this curvy part coming up going fairly quick for this corner uh, no I had to take over he's going too close to that line for my liking with that car coming all right let's See, it's slowing down quite a bit here for this turn. Way slower than I would drive it. Yeah, it's still really timid on these turns. Like, 42, was it? It's picking up a bit here, but... Yeah, it doesn't instill much confidence when it has to slow down that much. slowing down for this guy yeah you know, I really wish it would stay to the right on those turns when the car is close to the line like that it says it's stopping well there used to be a stop sign here but there's not anymore interestingly it's still stopping huh that's strange now it shows a roundabout coming up. Let's see what happens here. I'm sure I'll have to take over, but I'm just gonna just stop angled into the curve. Okay, so yeah, not 
not a, really a pass there. So now there's nobody in front of me, so I still have to step on the accelerator or, or pull the uh, autopilot stock to confirm going through a green light. But if someone's closer, let's see, maybe they're still too far away. Yeah, it still says stopping, so I gotta tell it that I wanna go through. this lane here. Autopilot's handling all the lane changes nicely here. Obviously it's not going to turn here yet. It's software isn't uh, at that point yet. But So it says I'm going to have to stop for the light if I'm not behind a car, but now if I pull in behind this guy, oh, now it's yellow so it's going to stop on its own. Ah, okay, that's cool. Haven't encountered a yellow where it would stop on its own yet. That's pretty, uh, pretty good. Well, that is a tiny, tiny dog. <laughs> I like how the new uh, visualization shows the pedestrians walking in the animation. That's pretty fun. So on the green light, I do believe I'll have to step on the accelerator to tell it to go through. I'm sure eventually it'll be able to drive on its own when the light turns green, but for now, we do baby steps. So it's going to go green, it's visualized green, but the line is still red until I step on the accelerator to give it the go ahead. And I just want to turn in here. I'm not sure if you can see there, but you should see it coming up. It will actually show the bike lanes in the uh, display, which is pretty cool. Should show. There we go. So it shows turn lanes and bike lanes. And just a little test to show the stopping at stop signs. And stopping for the car there as well, but. Stopping at the stop sign. It does a really slow <laughs> uh, deceleration right at the line there, but it does stop until I step on the accelerator to go again. It doesn't seem to detect these things in the middle. It gets really close to it. And it does detect all these bins. a lane change here. There's very little delay from when you put your signal on and uh, when it does the lane change now. So now it'll go through this light on its own with no intervention from me because it detects the cars in front. Shows the green line there. One thing I do like about the new, I don't know if it's the latest software update or the actual FSD hardware upgrade, but it does seem to accelerate uh, from a light with traffic a lot better before it would have quite a big delay, so there'd be a huge gap before it would start to drive ahead. And now it seems to stick right along with the, the car in front of you pretty well when it starts up from a light. It's already starting to move before that car really even got going. So yeah, see it, it stayed with that car really well off of the the line here. So we're just going to go into this construction area here. We're going to see a lot of cones on the screen and it does a weird uh, lane change where it shuts down the, the right two lanes and pushes us over into oncoming lanes so I'm sure the system will fail <laughs> at this but let's see what happens. One thing you'll notice in the in the um, Binnacle display here, it's uh, it's way smoother than before with the MCU one. I don't know what the frame rate is. Maybe I can check it in post processing here, but it's definitely smoother. But sometimes it'd be probably down to like five, ten frames a second, really choppy. I'm gonna. I don't know why they limit some of the visualization because it can see the cone way over there across the median across those two lanes but it doesn't show the pedestrians. 
So it's like it's like if it can see that cone, I'm sure it can see the pedestrians, but maybe it doesn't think that they're worth, you know, displaying since it's on lanes that we can't access, but it seems if if it detects a cone anywhere, it seems like it'll draw like it's stuff way over there that it's drawing on the display. Seen any hill? Okay, let's see what happens here. This is interesting. Is he gonna go across the line? Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he was beeping at me, but it looked like he was gonna go right into those cones there. I'm sure, hopefully it would have stopped, but I'm not gonna take that chance. Yeah, so these are those kind of corner cases I think that Elon's always talking about. You know, it can handle straight roads and curvy roads and highways, but you know, these weird construction sort of situations, those are the things that they're, I'm sure they're working really hard to try to work around. While it's disappointing that the new FSD hardware didn't see any improvements in the lane keeping capabilities, but the downgraded performance is likely just a software issue since it was doing this exact same thing with the previous version of the software before the hardware upgrade. The FSD preview visualizations are pretty cool though. In addition to the eight objects previously identified in the autopilot display, we now have pickup trucks, which I think was added in a previous software update, as well as traffic lights along with their light color, stop signs and stop lines, construction cones, even showing them on their side, garbage bins, holes, pedestrians now with a walking animation, railway crossings, as well as turn lanes, HOV lanes, and bike lanes. Let me know in the comments below if there's something that I've missed. Coming in the next software update, we'll see speed limit sign recognition and control. And in future updates, Tesla says the cars will even be able to distinguish different Tesla models as well as their colors in the display, in addition to emergency vehicles. So far, the stop sign and stoplight control and display is working extremely well. I'm really looking forward to later this year when the software will start to utilize more of the FSD computer's capabilities. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you found these videos useful in your decision to purchase a Tesla vehicle, you can use my referral code here to get both of us a thousand miles of free supercharging. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date with the latest updates in self-driving tech from Tesla. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see here in the future, let me know in the comments below. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time on Evolution Tesla.